Hey, what is up, Internet? Happy New Year. Quick update. I got my LASIK done in the last week of December. That was the reason I was not very active on YouTube. But I'm all well. I'm all recovered. My vision is 2160p, if you know what I mean. Anyway, January is usually the month when a lot of people actually take up their New Year resolutions. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of new resolutions, I have been using the Ultra Human M1 for the past one month. I know you are already wondering what the hell is ultra human m1 well for the unintended ultra human m1 is a continuous glucose monitoring device that will give your body's glucose levels throughout the day so you can optimize your food your sleep your workout basically your lifestyle i know it sounds very technical in the first go at least it did to me but Hold on to this video because I have some interesting thoughts on the Ultra Human M. Alright, so if there is one thing I have to give it to Ultra Human before even I start this video, it has to be the packaging. So the box is very minimal, it's straightforward, but yet it feels very premium as well. So inside the box, you get the sensor, you get some alcohol patches, you get some Ultra Human stickers as well that you will apply on the sensor and some paperwork. Now, the first thing that came to my mind when I first heard about Ultra Human M1 on the internet was that this is not your conventional wearable device. I mean, to be honest, I was a little apprehensive about something sticking to my body for at least two weeks but I'm happy to report it's not that bad but you will have to get used to it. Now it comes with this DIY application kit in the box itself so you have to first open this applicator like this then you load the CGM sensor on this applicator and apply it by gently pressing it on the outer side of your upper arm or triceps. Now I know it does look a little scary in the first go but trust me it is a painless process if you follow the instructions carefully. However there are a couple of things that you should keep in mind while applying this sensor. First I would highly advise you to shave that area or even wax especially for the boys if you're into that to avoid any irritation of skin in fact the first time i applied the sensor i didn't shave that area and it actually got really painful towards the end of the third day and these ultra human sticker patches it is advised that you change them every second or third day because you do get a lot of them inside the box and when you first apply the sensor it is advised that you apply it in the fasting stage for the sensor to render the accurate results i think for me the easiest way is to apply it first thing in the morning and then wait for an hour until it calibrates and then it will start showing your glucose levels. Okay, so now that we have applied the sensor, how does it really work? Now for it to work, you have to actually install the Ultra Human app. It is available for both Android and iOS. And after the initial calibrations, all you have to do is go to this scan icon located on the bottom right corner and then hover your phone over the sensor and you'll get a couple of vibrations to get your glucose readings on your phone. Now the glucose readings and the timeline doesn't give you a lot of value by itself so ultra human app also gives you a metabolic score based on your glucose levels your food habits your sleep and workout and this brings me to a very important point so every time you eat a meal or workout it's very important for you to actually log it on the app itself and you don't have to do it real time you can actually do it towards the end of your day and the app will ask you if you've forgotten to add the log and if there is an abnormal spike in your glucose levels but this is very important because this will let the app actually analyze your health data and optimize your food habits or sleeping habits accordingly. And if this still doesn't make sense to you, you can also access a wide variety of performance coaches through a chat function on the Ultra Human app as well. And trust me, this was my favorite feature because I'm someone who would want to interact with a human being than to actually access all these readings through an app or maybe just read an article on the internet. Okay, but this is all fine. Does it really work? Does it really show you insights about your body and when you make those changes, do you really feel the difference? Well, it vastly depends on your body type, but I do have a couple of really interesting examples that help me optimize my food habits. All right, so first I was always very heavy with carbohydrates for my breakfast. So I used to eat lots of paranthas, pyaas parantha, gobi parantha is my personal favorite. I mean, come on, who doesn't like gobi parantha, right? And even though it's usually normal for everyone to have carbohydrates heavy meal first thing in the morning because it helps you give that energy for the rest of the day for me it would actually spike my glucose levels a little too abnormally so what i did was after just consulting with a couple of performance coaches and also just searching on the internet i introduced a bunch of fruits and reduced the amount of carbohydrates and also i introduced salads whenever i can to maintain my glucose levels but then i am also a very big chai person and I can't start my day without having that generic Indian masala tea with all the ginger and all kinds of spices. 
this and i used to have it with the normal refined sugar normally right and i noticed that i used to always have this abnormal spikes in my glucose level even though i would just have maybe like a cup of tea in the morning without any breakfast but this one day i was at chayos and i ordered the good wali chai which is very famous in the winters here in delhi and yeah so i ordered it and and i noticed that the glucose spikes after having the good wali chai was not as abnormal as it was when i used to just have my normal tea so the very next day i got some jaggery powder and i have been only having tea with jaggery powder instead of refined sugar and honestly it doesn't make me feel very different than i was having my normal tea but it does make me feel a little less addicted to it because i don't crave it that much now and it's actually really nice because whenever i can't have my normal tea i'm good to go and i will not have some random headaches or anything like that okay so let me also go through a couple of things that i don't particularly like about the ultra human m1 first this sensor only has a memory of 8 hours so you have to scan it again and again every 8 hours if you don't you'll miss a small patch of your glucose readings once in a while second you can actually sync your sleep and workout data from third party apps like google fit but there was no option to sync it with samsung health so i use the samsung galaxy watch 4 so i had to first sync the samsung health data to google fit and then sync the google fit data to the ultra human app and third maybe this is just me or Or maybe all the guys who would probably be shaving their triceps for the very first time but the patch and the sensor can be irritating to your skin in fact the patch was really really irritating to me so i actually rocked the sensor naked most of the time the sensor itself is water resistant as well and you can take it to shower as well but i would highly recommend if you wear the patch if you go out swimming with this on all right let's also talk about the price because this is where it gets really interesting so one cgm sensor that will last you about 2 weeks will actually cost you rupees 6899 so yes if you ask me it is expensive even though i know a lot of people out there who have actually benefited a lot from ultra human m1 who had diabetes who have pcos pcod but my whole idea of testing out the ultra human m1 was to find out if it's also for everyone else what about people like you and me who are not into sports who are not into workout who doesn't have diabetes or pcos pcod is it also for us and honestly if you asked me maybe a month back i would have said i would not spend this much money on ultra human m1 but i'm glad i got a chance to test it out and now i will definitely get one for myself and also my parents because i think the idea here is to also change your lifestyle and food habits early in life so that you can prevent from having some serious health related issues when you grow old so if you look at it from that perspective it is definitely worth it but again it's up to you and if you do decide to get one for yourself as well you can actually get 10% off if you use the code i've mentioned in the description box below and also the pinned comments as well and it will be great if you can use my affiliate link because that will actually give me a small kickback and the money then will help me run this channel and also make more such videos for you guys in future as well so yes guys this was it this was my experience using the ultra human m1 for one month let me know how do you find it If you did like the video I'll really appreciate if you can smash that like button so that YouTube can actually show this video to a similar audience and we can reach more people as well subscribe to TikTok if you don't want to miss out on more videos like this and follow me on social media and you already know the drill by now right keep asking and I will see you in the next one